Welcome back, everybody. As I'm attempting to get our final star on uh, TikTok, TikTok clock, click clock woods, click clock woods. <laughs> Man, I really wish Donkey Kong 64 was better. <laughs> some of the levels are super cool, mm -hmm. like Fungi Forest. I thought it was super cool. I don't remember any of the levels. Zero. Yeah. I mean, Not even Crystal Caverns? I probably have some... Not even Freeze Easy Oof. Feet? I remember the levels of that as much as I remember the levels of... Yeah, that's about right. Of uh, Jet Force Gemini. <laughs> Looks like it's going faster than normal. <laughs> Alright, let's try this with the average speed now. Huh? I didn't know these things moved at different times. Oh, fuck. Okay, uh, I don't know what the fuck's wrong with me today, but I don't seem to be able to do it. Alright, so a slow speed now. <laughs> let's, uh, let's see if the third time's the charm. Oh my god, I almost insta-died. <laughs> Anyway, run, run me through the, the Smash characters. Okay, just a second. Alright. Whoa. So I need to take my time for this level in. Give me your phone. Just trying to rush it. Alright. Right. Easier if you hold it sideways. So is this based on like my interest in them? Not in terms of playing, but just, like, a as a character. Well, whatever mine was, same thing. What was yours? Um... Interest in playing in Smash? Huh? How, how fuckable, fuckable they are. Oh, you were doing how fuckable they were? Yeah, well, yeah, that's why Pikachu was number one. And Inkling was also up there? I can wait. <laughs> um, no, I just, like, how, like, personal interest in, like, the character or series or whatever. Okay. Um, Bayonetta. Uh, C. Okay. It's nothing special to me, but I don't have any distaste for her either. I, I've, I'll, I'll be honest, part of my ranking of, uh, When I say Bayonetta. I don't have distaste for her, that doesn't mean that I don't think she probably smells bad, because I think she probably smells bad. Well, I... Overly perfumed... Oh, I thought you were going to say because she's covered in witchy stuff. <laughs> That's okay. I think part of my distaste for Bayonetta is the result of watching that video where they made all of the Smash characters do her like, <laughs> pose. <laughs> it's taken a toll on you. <laughs> it's just, it's grotesque. <laughs> <laughs> and I say this as a Nurgle player. Okay. Uh... Uh, Bowser Jr. Bowser Jr. I like his clown car thing, because that's linked to my memories of Super Mario World. Mm. Uh, but him in general, like, he's a big part of Sunshine. That's part of why I think Sunshine doesn't have, like, a very fun antagonist. Yeah. So, D. That's fair. B -b -b Bowser! Bowser is cool. And he's really funny in all of his, like, Paper Mario appearances. I like how Nintendo uses him generally. Mm -hmm. So he's like an A tier. Yeah, that's fair. Um, Captain Falcon. Don't give a shit. F trash. He's just a meme. I don't think anyone actually likes Captain Falcon. Um, they just like him ironically, which is stupid. Sleeveless, Kids are stupid. Sleeveless sword guy. Sleeveless sword guy? Yeah. What color is his hair? He's fire emblem. What color is his hair? Blue? Okay, that... He has that... mismatched long boots. Uh, a cape? Uh, is he wearing kind of 
pastel looking color white? No, everything face? about him is blue. Is it Chrom? Maybe, probably. Let me see. Him? That's Chrom. Okay. Chrom is a really cool character in Awakening. One of the better Fire Emblem Lords. So, B? Okay. Cloud. Cloud. Um, I'd like to say he's overrated, but he's actually a really interesting uh, protagonist. He just looks boring. So... True. I think those things cancel out to make it a C. Okay. Um, Corrin. Oh, no! Fucking loser. Corrin has really cool abilities, especially for a game like Smash. Mm -hmm. um, Corrin is part of the worst written Fire Emblem games. By a lot. It's like going from, I don't know, like low budget fantasy to Power Rangers. <laughs> Which one of those is. Wait, what? Are those, are there those not the same? Uh, it's like going from... Alright, the best of Fire Emblem is like early fi early Game of Thrones quality. Hmm. And the worst of Fire Emblem is like... Transformers cartoon or Power Rangers-esque. You could have just said Transformers movie. <laughs> yeah, Transformers movie. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, Corrin ranks in it like Transformers movie. Uh, level so... <sighs> The ability set is so cool that I'll give it a C. Okay. Fox. Fox? Fox has no quality yet. Come on! That's not a personality. Fox is a D. He's cocky. Fox is not cocky. He's just a generic heroic lead. He doesn't have legs. And he looks stupid, but that never comes up. It's just, like, the dumbest minor detail about him. <laughs> Fox sucks, so... Daisy. D. Daisy is more interesting than Peach, but not as interesting as Rosalina. Mm -hmm. uh, Daisy is just a non-character. I that... don't think Daisy's more interesting than Peach, if you include Peach's Paper Mario appearances. <laughs> ah, true. Okay. All right. You're right about that. Yeah, Daisy's a non-character that people like because she's a meme. Mm -hmm. So, uh... I mean, fair. D. D for Daisy. Dark Pit. Dark Pit? Uh, I've never played this game. Maybe he's interestingly used. I heard that the writing of Kid Icarus Awakening is actually interesting. So, since I don't know him well enough... Should we do a tier list of Japanese D. games that have the subtitle Awakening in them? <laughs> Maybe. Because <laughs> you've, you've named two so far. Is it Ki no, those. it's actually Kid Icarus Uprising. It's one of those ING. Kid Icarus Gerund. <laughs> All right, uh, so I'm gonna say D for now, but Dark Samus maybe deserves to be higher. I never played Metroid Prime Three, but Dark Samus's design is awesome. Mm -hmm. uh, B. I'm pretty sure Dark Samus is also in Metroid Prime Two. I never finished Metroid Prime Two. I've only, I've only played like an hour of it. Um, Donkey Kong. Donkey Kong. <laughs> Not super interesting in any of his appearances, but he has an appealing design. So... Does he? C. Oh, wait. Oh, that's the end of TikTok Clock. Cool. I'll start us out on Rainbow Ride or, or this stupid thing. I don't remember which does which. <laughs> I think this is Rainbow Ride. Uh, Diddy Kong. I think Diddy Kong looks stupid. Mm -hmm. Uh, E... Uh, me gunner. Me gunner? E. All the me's can just go to E. Okay. They're not interesting. Dr. Mario! Dr. Mario is cool. Um, I think Dr. Mario as a puzzle game sucks. But Dr. Mario is cool. Okay. So, D, because it's Mario wearing a cute costume. Uh, Mario PhD. Like Mario Mario? Sli slightly lower rank than Dr. Mario because he's not an MD but he did get his PhD. Okay. So, I guess E. <laughs> uh, duck and Dog. Uh, trash. E. But you like playing them. Because they're the closest thing to Brawl Snake. Uh. But then Snake's back and he's not quite like Brawl Snake but he's closer than Duck. 
So I have no reason to play them again ever. That's fair. Um, Falco. Falco. At least he Falco. has a personality. Falco. But still, Star Fox characters. Star Fox characters. They suck. So. Uh, what did, well, I put, just what did letting, I put Fox just, and D? Because Falco should be one tier up. You're just letting your anti-furry bias show. Maybe. Uh, C. Falco's all right. At least, again, like at least he has a personality. Right. Um, Ganondorf. Ganondorf was most interesting when he was a mindless beast as Calamity Ganon. I honestly think so. Mm -hmm. Um, Hyrule Warriors Ganondorf is, like, A material. Regular Ganondorf. I feel like C. Ganondorf is pretty much always a missed opportunity because, like, he has a pretty compelling backstory. Uh-huh. And they don't do a goddamn thing with it. Yeah. Um. Because, like, uh, I lost it. You've got it set to, like, one minute or less. Oh, it might be because my battery's low. Oh, your battery is low. Yeah, it's at 12. Here you go. Thank you. You're saying Ganondorf's usually a missed opportunity, and I agree. Because, like, especially in Ocarina of Time, like, that whole, like, idea of, like... This one male every hundred years, it doesn't make any goddamn sense. Yeah, magic. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> but it's, like... You'd be a weird person to be raised in that society. Yeah, for sure. And he is weird, but like they don't do anything with his motivation other than, like, I want the Triforce of Power. Which I guess is all they really needed. I mean, I guess it's more motivation than he had as Pigman, but... Uh -huh. Not really. I don't know. Anyway. Uh, Greninja. Greninja. Mm, I wish it was Ferox. Or, uh... What is the the fox one called? Uh, I don't remember. Xerox. Phenox. Phenox. Something like it's that. It's like a play on Fennec, right? Yeah, I think that I like I like her design way better. Um, yeah. But I really like the idea that the three starters of that generation were like the three fantasy tropes. Mm. You know, knight, rogue, wizard. Yeah. I thought that was a really cool idea. And Greninja served its purpose as that. But I don't like Greninja's massive tongue. Oh, and I like that a lot. I like that he wears it as a scarf. Uh, the fact that it's its tongue weirds me out too much. So... I'm gonna give Greninja... A C. I don't hate Greninja, but I don't love Greninja either. Well, that's that's good. fair. Oh, you I got enough. Just finish. Yeah, I got it. This is not that bad. Because I've just done it, and this is the closest <laughs> to what I've done. Yeah. Um, ice Climbers! Ice Climbers? Trash. The Noble Ike F. with his weirdly colored sword. Ike is one of the best uh, Fire Emblem characters ever. Uh, Ike is a really great character. And, uh... Fucking S tier. Ike is awesome. Okay. Ike is classy in a way that uh, other Fire Emblems are not. The, most of them are, like, passable. There's no representation of the best of Fire Emblem in there, but Ike is, um... Yeah. Ike's just great. Okay. Really interesting character. Gao Gai? Who? Uh, Incineroar. Oh. Eek. <laughs> Fuck Incineroar. <laughs> Should and the who was the other ones of that generation? Uh, there was Decidui, which was the owl, the, which is what it should have been, or just Rowlet. <laughs> and um, Primarina. Primarina's eh, but Decidui, I think they didn't put. I think the only reason they didn't do Decidui is because Decidui was added to Pokémon Tournament, I think. Uh, maybe. Yeah, so that's if that's true, that's a dumb reason. But it's a reason that I think is probably pretty probable. Mm. Uh, Inkling. Inkling? S. Inkling's awesome. Okay. A, whatever the highest is. <laughs> Yay! Uh, Isabel. Isabel is a fantastic character and really, really funny character to put in Smash. Yeah, so, so top tier. Yeah. S or A. <laughs> Jigglypuff. 
I don't like Jigglypuff. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan. Uh, I think below average, so D. Um, Joker. Joker's awesome. Uh, and a great character to add to Smash. Uh, A. Okay. Ken. Not an S, though. Uh, I don't care about Street Fighter. Although I have had fun playing Street Fighter before. I just think it's vastly overrated. And kind of hogs a lot of attention that it probably doesn't actually deserve. So, and Ken is like a more boring version of Ryu. Mm -hmm. He reminds me of like a, a super guy gene. <laughs> so I'm going to call him a D. Okay. King did did did. That's a cool character. The fact that he's a is big it? giant penguin with a hammer. Um, I maybe if they didn't dress him so stupid. <laughs> but he, I don't know. He, he rather fits for the Kirby universe, of course. So maybe I'm gonna call him a C. Okay, King Cruel. King K. Rule. Hmm. That was before he started wearing his his pirate costume and his scientist costume. <laughs> which I think he's way more interesting as. So, him like that is, doesn't get above a C for me. Kirby? Kirby's cool. Kirby's like minimalism done right in a character, whereas Jigglypuff just looks like nothing. He is shaped like a friend. <laughs> I like how you put that. Uh, but Kirby doesn't also like reach any high heights for me, so mm -hmm. he's a C. Uh, Link. I like Breath of the Wild Link's design a lot. Uh, maybe a B. I don't think like it deserves to be A or anything. Okay. Uh, Mac. Small. Little Mac. Small. Small Mac. Mm -hmm. D. He looks like a, a placeholder character. Lucario. I'm not in love with Lucario. C. That's fair. Lucas? Lucas looks interesting to me. Makes me really want to play the Earth Earthbound snake games. Rope. Yeah, that snake rope. I don't care about the snake rope. I like it. I like that he looks like a really like weird, chibi, almost a character that could be in Mob Psycho or something. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So... I, I'm not interested enough to call it a B. Here, it's just this C shape. Uh, so, C for Lucas. Uh, is this Marth? No. Could be Marth. Uh, yeah, I guess it's Marth. Marth? Uh, Marth is cool. Marth gets a A. Mega Man. Mega Man, A. Love Mega Man. Uh, Meta Knight! Meta Knight is cool, of course, but... He doesn't fit at all in the Kirby universe, and that's like, it's like they were reaching. He's like the Shadow the Hedgehog of Kirby. That's very true. Yeah, he's like a C for me. Okay, Mewtwo? Mewtwo? Mewtwo's awesome. S. S or A. Mewtwo's pretty cool. Yeah. That's just a great design all in all, all around. Mr. Game and Watch. Trash. E. Yes. Shouldn't even be in the game. Ness? Hmm. Ness is cool. In the same way that Lucas is cool. Probably a C for me, though. Okay. Pac-Man. Pac-Man? I hate that Pac-Man design. I once called it, like, modern Pac-Man design, but that's been around since, like, two years after Pac-Man was made. Mm -hmm. And I hate it. So, trash. Yeah, I hate it. Polytena. Polytena. Doesn't appeal to me for some reason. D. Maybe Peach. if I knew her personality in I have no idea what her personality is. <laughs> Peach, Peach is really cool, and also her being a capable fighter in Smash is a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. So, uh, like A. I wish they'd introduced, like, uh, her and Bowser's Odyssey outfits. Yeah, that would be excellent. Um, Luigi. Luigi. People freak, like, freaking love Luigi. I'm not, like, a big Luigi guy, so I call Luigi a C. Hmm. Uh, Mario. Also a C. Pichu? I don't really like Pichu. B? No. C. Okay. Pit? Pit. Um... It's 
cool that he can fly, but I don't really like his design. Maybe I'm just biased against Greek-inspired stuff. Uh, but I did like Marth, and Marth is very Greek-inspired. Mm -hmm. uh, with his, like, low tunic. Very Peter Pan-esque. <laughs> Early Link-esque. Uh, maybe a C for Pit. Sure. Pokemon Trainer. Awesome. Really cool. Yeah. Uh, A. Squirtle. S. Ivysaur? S. Charizard. C. <laughs> not as cool. Everyone freaks out about Charizard because he's a dragon. He's not. He's not. He isn't he? Nope. He breathes fire. He doesn't have dragon type. Oh. <laughs> but he's the, fire flying. Is that why they added that to his uh, Mega Evolution? Probably. <laughs> and Mega Evolution was so cool. Uh, Ridley. Really awesome design. Very Xenomorph esque. Uh, I would give Ridley, like, a C. Hmm. Robin? Robin! Uh, really cool character. Used really well in Fire Emblem Awakening. The best avatar in all Fire Emblem. Although, I haven't played Violet yet. So, Robin's like a B. Okay. Uh, Olimar. Olimar? I wish I could say I like Olimar's design, but I don't. He yeah, gets... I don't like his design, but I like Pikmin, so... Okay. Yeah, the Pikmin design looked really cute. Um, uh, maybe... Uh... C? I'm really middling on a lot of these characters. Mm -hmm. Probably got a lot of Cs. Uh, Lucina. Lucina! Uh, I had no interest in all of her until I got to Fire Emblem Awakening. Mm -hmm. She has a really fascinating character in Fire Emblem Awakening. Although, there are some major plot holes in her story, which, like, I usually don't care about plot holes, but hers is kind of, it's like kind of a big mystery. Mm -hmm. And it's never answered and never commented on. So, she gets like a C for me. Okay. Uh, Rosalina. Oh, Rosalina, like, S. I love Rosalina. I think she's so super cool. Yeah. She's like the closest thing the Mario world has to a god. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. The whiskey's adding up. <laughs> Uh, I switched to tequila for you, so... Mm. Roy? Roy... is a trash character. Um... in a vastly overrated Fire Emblem. Uh, Roy's just like a nothing character. Mm. He has but, a cool design in Smash. Boy. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Roy gets... D. Okay. Ryu. Ryu? Ryu's actually cool. Um, invented the Hadouken. Hadouken! Uh, Ryu, I'll give a C. They should have the pro the protagonist of the Yakuza games. Kiryu? Yeah. Oh my god, yes. That'll never happen. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, they just added Steve. Yeah, but <laughs> that, that has a presence on Nintendo. Yeah, um, Kiryu, and uh, it's not even Kiryu. Like, he plays a lot of different characters in the more modern Yakuza games. They kind of have, like, multiple stories going on at once, and there's a lot of great characters there, too. Uh, okay. Um, Pikachu. Pikachu? Is it fat Pikachu or normal Pikachu? That's normal. Ah, uh, D. Fat Pikachu S. Yeah. That, I love original design Pikachu. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's so... Piranha He's so plant. chonky. Piranha plant. All right. A lot of people would be like, he doesn't deserve to be in Smash. He's just a, like a Fuck regular character. People. Yeah, like, I want to play as regular nothing characters in Smash. Like, it doesn't always have to be the most char important character in the world. Mm. Like, I would love to play as, like, a goddamn Goomba. Or some kind of, like... Pokemon trainer esque thing. They should introduce creep. Where you play as like Bowser Jr. <laughs> and he like summons out a Goomba, a Koopa, or like Piranha Plant. Now that'd be a really, really cool character. What you, uh, what you up to? Creeper. Can you play as Creeper? No, you can't. No, I'm just saying that they should now. Yeah, it's Zombie and Enderman that Steve can, can turn into. Mm. Which are great choices. I want to play a zombie skin. Um, Samus. 
Oh, wait, who was the character that? I don't think I gave her a final rating, did I? Piranha Plant. Piranha Plant. Uh, yes. Piranha yeah. Plant's awesome. Good choice. Uh, Samus. Samus? Mm -hmm. Um, I'm very hot or cold on the Metroid series. Mm. <laughs> There's no room for error in this, so. Start over. Woo! Way over. God damn it. It's the turn radius. Yeah. I was just trying to turn around. But every time you, like, hit a new platform, it restarts that animation. Chic. Or, well, you didn't give me an answer, but... For, uh, Samus? Yeah. C, I'm not in love with Samus or anything. Okay. Uh, Sheik. Sheik, I would say, doesn't really deserve to be in the series. <laughs> like, a, a one-time temporary disguise by Princess Zelda? Like, she's only in there because it was a, you know, a, a reference to her costume change to give Zelda a more interesting moveset. Mm -hmm. Sheik doesn't deserve to be in there. And the character of Sheik isn't a character, yeah. so, uh, fucking F. E. Yeah, that sounds fair. It's just a costume change that's been given the status of a... It should be Impa. Yeah, I mean, they did. They also gave Sheik a roster slot in uh, Hyrule Warriors. Mm -hmm. Similarly undeserved, but Sheik is also the best character in that game, so... <laughs> yeah. Uh, that future, makes more sense because it's guy. Hyrule Warriors. Uh, Shulk? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know enough about Xenoblade. I don't like his design, so I guess I have to put him in, like, a D. But I bet once I play his game, I'll probably love him. Probably. Because apparently Xenoblade Chronicles is, like, the shit. In a good uh, way. Simon? Oh, uh, is he wearing blue? No. Oh, so then it's actually Simon. Uh, Simon is cool. He has this very, like, Bar Conan the Barbarian-esque mm -hmm. look to him. That I'm actually into. Like, he's an unusual protagonist. Nice! Yes, I did it, finally. Um, Snake. Triple S. <laughs> Snake is my boy. Probably my favorite character in anything. <laughs> Solid Snake, no. Big Boss, yes. Sonic! C. Okay. You could take or leave him. Blue Tunic Castlevania guy. Oh, we only have one more star in this thing. I know. Holy shit. This takes a while. Uh, yeah. That's the idea. Uh, oh my god, it's already 27 minutes in. Alright, we're gonna get this last star in Rainbow Ride, and I'll continue with Richter Belmont next time. <laughs>